Did you know that about 85% of the universe's matter is invisible to us? Yes, you heard it right. This mysterious unseen substance is what we call dark matter. Now you might wonder if we can't see it, how do we even know it exists? The answer lies in its gravitational pull. Just like the way the moon's gravity pulls on Earth's tides, dark matter pulls on everything we can see. It tugs on galaxies, bends light, and influences the way the universe expands. It's the invisible puppeteer pulling the strings of the cosmic dance. But here's the kicker. No one knows exactly what dark matter is. It's one of the greatest unsolved mysteries in science, a cosmic conundrum that has stumped the brightest minds for decades. So, while we can't see most of the universe, we know it's there, silently shaping galaxies and stars. This is the enchanting paradox of our universe, a place where seeing is not always believing. Fast forward billions of years to the birth of our own solar system. Picture this, a vast, seemingly infinite cloud of gas and dust, suspended in the cosmic expanse. This is the raw material from which all the celestial bodies we know and love are born. Now, something magical happens. Gravity, that universal force that keeps your coffee in its cup and the moon in our sky, starts to work its cosmic magic. It pulls, tugs and nudges this cloud, gradually drawing it together into a dense, swirling mass. At the center, the pressure and temperature rise, giving birth to our shining star, the sun. Around it, the remaining material starts to coalesce, forming the familiar planets including our own beloved Earth. And just like that our solar system came into existence, with Earth being one of its eight planets. Now let's zoom in on the third rock from the Sun, our home, Earth. Born from cosmic violence and chaos, Earth's early days were anything but peaceful. Imagine a world ablaze, its surface a swirling, fiery sea of molten rock. This was our planet, some four and a half billion years ago. But the drama didn't end there. A rogue planetoid, roughly the size of Mars, collided with our nascent Earth. The impact was so intense it hurled debris into space that eventually coalesced to form our moon. Yes, our very own moon was born from a cosmic car crash. As eons passed, the Earth's surface cooled and solidified forming a crust. The first continents began to take shape, providing the stage for the next chapter of Earth's epic saga. From a molten rock to a blue and green oasis, Earth has certainly come a long way. But Earth didn't remain a barren rock for long. With the stage set by our newly formed planet, the first actors in life's grand play were simple single-cell organisms. These humble pioneers, microscopic in size but monumental in impact, were the seeds from which all life on Earth would ultimately sprout. Over time these single-celled organisms evolved becoming more complex and diverse. This was no overnight transformation, we're talking hundreds of millions of years. But as they say, patience is a virtue. And the reward was the incredible diversity of life we see today. Throughout all this, water played a crucial role. It served as a cradle for these nascent life forms, providing the perfect conditions for their survival and evolution. It's no wonder that when we search for life beyond Earth, our gaze is drawn to places with potential for water. So, from invisible matter to a planet teeming with life, our universe is truly a marvel. But the story of our universe doesn't stop here. Indeed, it's an endless journey. A journey that's filled with the promise of new discoveries, the lure of the unknown, and the thrill of exploration. As we journey through the cosmos, we're constantly looking for signs of life on other planets, we're sending out probes, telescopes, and rovers, our mechanical emissaries, to distant galaxies in the hopes that we might find evidence of life, no matter how microbial, in places we've never dreamed of. And it's not just about finding life, it's about understanding the vastness of the universe, the complex dance of galaxies, the birth, life, and death of stars. It's about unraveling the mysteries of dark matter and dark energy, about delving into the enigma of black holes. Every new discovery, every new observation brings us a step closer to answering some of the most profound questions of our existence. So if life could emerge on Earth, do you think it could have emerged elsewhere in the universe?